Okay, I'm doing it. I'm finally making this video. I've been putting it off for ages because it seems like there's always been some other shiny new piece of tech that's come up that I've had to drop everything and review. But I'm finally gonna talk to you guys about Wi-Fi and about routers, which yes, isn't as sexy, but it is important. And actually, if you're anything like me, well, like the quarter of the world's population right now that's under lockdown, you've probably experienced some internet or Wi-Fi issues at home. So for example, let's say you're streaming something on Netflix and maybe you've got a Steam game downloading uh, or you've got someone else in the house with you who's watching something or downloading something. It can sometimes all crawl to a halt. Uh, I've actually, well, I've been a bit of a rookie really. I've just been using the basic router slash modem combo thing that came with the uh, ISP, the internet provider that I use. So I finally done something about it. I actually teamed up with the guys at Netgear uh, who are kindly sponsoring this video because they provided this guy. This is the Orbi. It is a mesh system. Uh, so I have the router down here or the router for my American friends, plus a new satellite upstairs, which I'll show you in a second. And behind that, we have my original uh, router modem. So I'll tell you all about the Orbi in a second, but this video isn't just me showing off my new router, which uh, isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but it's because I think now is genuinely a great time to upgrade your home Wi-Fi system. Because not only are mesh systems more common now, like I have with this guy, but also we're starting to see the first Wi-Fi 6 supported routers coming out. So if you have a pretty recent phone or laptop, uh, the chances are that will support Wi-Fi 6, but it's no good unless you have a router that supports it as well. So first things first, let me show you what I'm getting in terms of download and upload just from the Skybox. The Orbi isn't connected yet. This is my current Wi-Fi. I'm right next to it. I'm getting 45 and then for upload, about 18 and a half. Then upstairs in my bedroom, uh, where I do have the Orbi satellite here, but I've not hooked it up yet. Uh, I'll probably put that down there. So for now, this is still just based off my normal router and we're getting 24-ish, 23 and a half down. I'm probably only about 20 feet away from the router. I've not got a big house. 23 down, 17 up. But now I've plugged in the Orbi, so this is the Wi-Fi 6 router, and if I then uh, connect to it on my phone, this is the OnePlus 8 Pro, uh, which is a Wi-Fi 6 compatible phone. So I'm not even using the mesh system yet, this is just a single Orbi router instead of my uh, previous one I've been using. And we're trying to beat 45. Uh, look at that, 70, 71. I actually pay for 70 down. That's what is in my sort of contract with the ISP. So that's the fastest I've ever seen it at home, actually. All right, let's run it again in the bedroom. Still not using the satellite, just the one router downstairs. And look at that, 36, 37, 38, 52, we're still going. <laughs> 53 down. That's more than double the speed we were getting before. But the next thing to try is the mesh system. That's part of the beauty of the Orbi. So this is the satellite. Uh, you can place it anywhere in your house where uh, you think you have a dead spot or you know, the furthest away from your main router. So let's get this plugged in and set up and see if we can beat the 52 Mbps down we're getting up here. Aha, uh -huh, it's turned blue and you can now see it says one satellite. And if I press on network map, you can see we've got the router there and then the one satellite here. So let's jump back to the speed test. Nothing has changed at all, uh, except I've added this satellite uh, for the mesh network. So we're trying to beat 53.2, 66. That's crazy, 68 up from 53. Now this is the real test because Wi-Fi 6 isn't just about raw speeds, it's how it handles multiple devices using the internet at the same time. Does it get clogged up? Does it throttle? So these four phones plus this one are all hooked up to my older uh, Wi-Fi 5 Skybox. So if I then jump over to Netflix. So let's go into a bit of Peaky Blinders. Uh, we've got a one hour episode here, HD episode. So if we download all four of those, start the timer and then also play my YouTube stream, which is just going through my uh, reviews playlist. Let's see how long it takes for the four phones to download it, and also if we get any buffering or issues uh, with the YouTube stream here. Oh, yeah. Do you see that? Had to freeze for a second to buffer. So these two are done. The third one's just about to finish, and it's taken three and a half minutes for this one to get to the quarter points. So let's see if now these have finished, if this speeds up. And we're done. Seven minutes, three seconds. But let's see if we switch to the Orbi Wi-Fi 6 router, if we can beat this. 
Just in case there's any caching by, you know, removing this and re-downloading this in episode, let's go for the second episode. See if we can beat seven minutes, three seconds. So boom, 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 boom. Start the clock and then start the video. Let's see how we get on. One, two, and nearly three, almost exactly the same time. I don't know what's up with the uh, Samsung S20 Ultra today. It does not want to download very fast, but three done. Yeah, just before the two and a half minute mark. Let's see how far we get with this. And we're done. Look at that. That is the exact same test, but nearly three minutes faster. That's about a 35 to 40% improvement in speed. While I've got them here, let's just do one quick speed test. This is running the older Wi-Fi 5 network. So you can see they're all pretty limited there. We're barely breaking 10. So we're looking at 8, 11, 14, and 7. So a peak of 14.2. Orby, 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 Orby. Go, 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 go. Straight away. I mean, none of the phones before were breaking double digits. 19, 23, 18, 16. So we went from a high of about, was it 12, up to 23.4. So you can see how it's not just about pure speed with your own device. If you've got a whole family in your home, then this is gonna improve everyone's life, basically. We also get useful features like the Orbi app, which makes the setup incredibly straightforward and lets you manage everything you need. Okay, I will enable the guest network. It also works with Alexa and the Google Assistant, so you can use voice commands to control the network. So for this video, I've been testing the Netgear Orbi, which is their top of the line, flagship, all singing, all dancing, home Wi-Fi system. Specifically, the RBK852, which is the twin pack, but you can also get it in a three pack. And this will save you back 700 pounds. So this is unmistakably a premium option. But if you're looking to invest in Wi-Fi 6 and want the best of the best, well, this is it. But the good news is Netgear also has their Nighthawk range, which also supports Wi-Fi 6 and starts from about 200 pounds. So while your experience may vary, if you're already coming from a pretty good router, then you may not see quite the same upgrades. Wi-Fi 6 is a good investment. It is the new standard. It's gonna make it a lot more future-proof. You're not gonna to have to upgrade uh, for quite a number of years. And of course, the number of devices that we all have from our phones, laptop, tablets, and all the IoT stuff, so like your smart fridge, uh, your smart robot Hoover, your TV, all that stuff. Uh, the number of devices in our house is only going to grow. This can actually support over 60 devices. And so that's really where Wi-Fi 6 comes into its own, being able to support so many more devices. Let me know what you guys think of the Orbi system and also Wi-Fi 6 and if you think uh, it's worth upgrading to a Wi-Fi 6 router, sy router system now let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hit that like and subscribe button down below if you want to see more of me and I'll catch you next time right here on the Tech Chat.